<laughs> See you later, boys. See ya. Thanks. Thanks for helping. <laughs> okay. I might get C Thank to you. ring you, Tam, or something. Yeah. It's about the visuals. See ya. Is she like a mother to you, too? She's, no, she's like a strange... <laughs> I just stuck myself over with a naughty mother. Naughty mother. Mother of nature. Bad mother. You wouldn't call those good mother, bad mother things. Right, actually. Yeah. 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 Um. Ooh. <laughs> what is that? That's interesting. Yeah, that's kind of just, yeah it sounds quite straight from Paddington Station. Mm. That's, that went on through the night in our room. Is it really? Mm. I think it's the whole building shuddering. This is very strange because we, we all live in London, yet we find ourselves in a hotel. Yeah. In London. Yeah. <laughs> rock and roll. Yeah, <laughs> isn't, it, isn't it just? <laughs> I recommend the stackiest for rock and roll. Water. If you went home, you'd have to get your own water. Oh, I know. You just don't do that kind of thing anymore. Not anymore. Not anymore. If you went home, you'd have your own bed. Oh, yeah. You'd actually have a bed. You'd have your own, your own neighbours drilling next door to you. Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's get out. Let's start with the, um, the question that you probably know that already very bored with being asked about. About the whole singer thing. <laughs> so take me through the whole ugly, awful story of uh, leaving the last singer. Losing. Um. <laughs> Losing implies a sense of loss. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> well, any word you want to use. It was on the record, off the record, uh, background. She was not on the record. Um. Uh, <laughs> 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 it's be painful. <laughs> That's the buzzer that goes off when people get. <laughs> yes. Oh, shit. Oh, well. <laughs> Having, um... <laughs> Excuse me, is that it? Is that, is that sound going to be a regular feature? Oh, I was in tears on the reception desk last night, this morning. Good. Mm. good I Not think good that you're in tears, good that that's working. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so we were talking... I'm really, really sorry that you're in tears. Thank you. We were talking okay. briefly about the about <laughs> We were the talking Kelly. briefly about Kelly, Kelly. but let's yes. talk in more. Explain this whole thing that's going to fascinate our readers. It is, it's fascinating. Something what it happened human. was that the first time round, Liam and Chris had written some songs with Chris singing on them. And for whatever commercial reasons, we decided... And that, personal reasons. And personal so. reasons. Um, Chris maybe wasn't ready to do it at that time. We decided to have a female vocal. Mm -hmm. um, we didn't expect it to be... Uh, quite as big as it turned out to be, and we imagined that to be like a one album thing. Yeah. Um, and then suddenly it took off, and we suddenly found ourselves under pressure from all sides to continue this thing that we thought was a little ad hoc in the first place and wasn't really meant to be perpetuated. So you <laughs> thought, so you thought you were a band who'd happened to bring in a female singer for an album? Yeah, sort kind of. of yeah. And, and not in any Machiavellian. Kind of way, it was more. It's more just seemed to suit the the time and. I see it does. Yeah. Time. Um, but we never, as Dave said, it we never expected it to mushroom into in, into this. You know, especially in terms of live commitment, it's something which bands, when you start off and you you write and record stuff in a little studio, you don't really foresee two or three years of of you know you know uh, going around the world promoting the record. And that, you know, that always puts a lot of strain on, on relationships. Mm. Indeed. So we changed. Okay. And of course we, we've always known each other, you know, we've known each other for years and years, and, and we have a, even though our, our, all our opinions are desperately different, um, we, we still get on in, in, in some kind of base way. Base. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, let's just go back to... Um, Whatever commercial or personal reasons, why why a female singer then? Um, I just think for our sound at the time, it, it seemed to be culturally more important to use female vocals, mm. and I wasn't confident enough to do it. Right, I, I think I it, yeah, I was just kind of ready. I don't think. Yeah, it's 1994. Mm. I don't think people would have been would have been as accepting, accepting, receptive or whatever. Receptive yeah. to, to us. I think. I mean, it, it makes us sound a bit too. Scheming and, and mm. you know, we weren't as, as that 
yeah. design conscious. I think it wasn't a construction, it was more of a choice. Um, I think at the time, sensitive, kind of almost you know, heartfelt male vocals over, over post kind of dance um, production, it just didn't seem to have a, have a place. And maybe we should have done, maybe we shouldn't, it's impossible to say you know, now, but it's... I mean, it seems not to have much of a place now anyway, but <laughs> we're just doing it now. But, but we, we, yeah, we're we've, we've, we've yeah. got to the point now where we, you know, we, we sold half a million records and we, you know, we were going to do a record we wanted to hear, and it's rare that you're in, in that position. Many, many, you know, many um, bands fall foul of the, of the pressures of, of, you know, of, re, you know, repeating the formula, just mm -hmm. doing the same old, same old protocol. And we, you know, we actually wanted to return to it some stronger identity rather than um, spin, you know, spin out uh, something, something which we would just had become slightly insincere. Right. Mm -hmm. So, was the kind of the did you inference in there that you can do what you like now? We can't do what we like, but we do. Uh, Give that impression. <laughs> <laughs> no, we just do. Um, I mean, it took a while to convince people of the change, obviously, over the last year, um, record company and things like that. But um, I don't know, I, mean, I just don't think we'd be doing music if we hadn't done the change. Mm -hmm. And so uh, that's, that's why we did it, really. It was for the survival of the, the whole thing. Because we had cancer of the spirit, as yeah, we, said. We found ourselves getting very spiritual last night. It was quite shocking. We played a gig in a church. <coughs> in, a church. In, a, in what used to be a church. Yeah, it was, it was a Where's homecoming. That? In Norwich, <laughs> Norwich Arts Centre. Right. Playing above the flagstones with all the dead people underneath. It's quite a strange thing to do. Kelly would have liked it. Yeah. <laughs> They'd all been in dancing sense? in a... Mm. Like, the bones. Like skilling. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's just get to that. <laughs> no, that's, that's, that's funny, uh, rather than... Sorry. No, which is, you know, we... I think it is, in, in a way, it's, it is more of an expedient departure. You know, I think we we'll both benefit. Mm. Johnny Rubits. Yeah. <laughs> no. That's all the that's all the sound stuff. What about the personal stuff? Personal stuff is just it just it just didn't work out. And and like, yeah. sifting through all the kind of grubbiness isn't necessarily kind of. It's, it wasn't even if it was that, that, that grubby really in the, in the end. Uh, no. You know, it's it human. It's humans' uh, relationships. I mean, the average relationship doesn't last more than a year or two. Uh, there's no reason why music should be any different. You know, whether it's business or personal or whatever, it's that you know these things you can fall out with your brother. Especially under the under the ridiculously artificial circumstances of going on tours around the world, spending 24 hours a day with people that you might not have known, or in fact I don't, I've never met, and then suddenly you, you find yourself 24 hours a day, uh, and we're all for all of us the same thing, and the pressure is always there, and we're constantly rowing, and. Um, uh, there's, uh, we could all kind of get grubby and gossipy and nasty about any any one of the people involved. Mm -hmm. um, it just <laughs> I happens. do frequently. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but it's it's not necessarily always a positive thing to. Mm. Dwell I mean, on. I think to be quite fair, we, we, we it wasn't as if we ever didn't get on. Uh, we had a laugh with them. We, we had a laugh. It was I I fondly look at the last three years. Mm. I just think purely down to the music, we had to do our own thing. Mm. Um, it, you know, all the other factors are insignificant in, in comparison. Mm. Um, she was understandably keen on, on becoming more involved mm -hmm. in, in the writing of, of this record, which we didn't share that enthusiasm. Um, and was that was that basically the kind of final straw? Was yeah, that the point at which you thought, oh, okay, it was. If ever, just, yeah, if ever the was the artistic point. product was was brought. Under, uh, to compromise, that was when we always knew we had to. It's fine going around the world touring, uh, e even even though there was a lot of compromises made to the live set and and through various abilities. Um, it was the, 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 the final thing is is whether you, it it changes your your, your product. Mm -hmm. If if you're the thing which you spend a year doing and going, this is what I've done. Mm -hmm. This is the, this is my baby kind of thing. Yeah. If that is at all compromised, well then there's no point in doing it. Okay. Because there's so much comp compromise which comes on after that. Mm. Now, I think it was you who said in the biography, it's a, it's a, in the press biography, it's a different band by the name. Is that how you feel? I think it's still it's still very clearly mm. part of the same continuum for the other album. I think 
it would be wrong to ever sort of that kind of implies that we would sort of disown the the first record, which it just isn't the case at all. It's a great, great little record. So in that sense, I think this one is very, it's still very clearly um, a progression from that record, and the songwriters are the same. <laughs> so in that sense, the um, what the difference is that there is this kind of feeling of not starting again, but there is a kind of there is a difference. Well, I think it is sort of I think starting, starting again. again kind of thing. You know, we do have to admit it. People are gonna. Yeah, yeah, but, but, but the, the mechanisms are well, really not just the start Yeah, alone. exactly. Yeah, yeah, so, well, I, I mean, I think we all find that quite exciting. So in that in that sense, mm. we are a new band. But, um, that's, yeah, I think in terms well, of writing, and things artistically, like that, yeah, artistically, it is a direct uh, projection, a continuum from the previous records. I think but that's Charles as well. Yeah, in terms of manifest, kind of what's what we look like and act, that has changed. Yeah, but it would have changed anyway. We're quite consciously trying to redress the balance as well because the first album was very, very quickly adopted by a lot of kind of tastemakers and, and uh, stylish people. Absolutely. Um, and um, <coughs> and I think along the way we somehow got slightly misrepresented. Mm -hmm. um, well, yeah, I mean, and and it's, which it's, I suppose it's been sugar does. band. And yeah, exactly. And the the, I mean, the, the first album, you talk about are we kind of different now, the thing is with the first album there, there are tunes which are markedly different from each other on the first album and, yeah. and we were never like this is what sneak hopes do. Um, we were always interested in dotting around with ideas and going right let's try something that's right over there and then let's come back to this point and let's do this and so we're still doing that now but we're kind of making sure we're in a, a stronger position to do that and um, not sacrificing ourselves to the idea. There was often an idea that we were manufactured, which we kind of are interested in, the idea of, of manufacturing ourselves in a way, or at least placing ourselves somewhere mm -hmm. culturally. But I think people used to get the idea that someone had, someone had done it for us <laughs> or something. So we, we I were, think, yeah, I think people always got slightly pissed off that, that we were a three. fake band or something. Continually sort of placing ourselves as pop theorists or something. Mm. Than, yeah, there was a, always a, always a suspicion. I think met with suspicion in in the UK, America. Luckily, the great gullible didn't went understand the anyway. <laughs> gullible sponge. <laughs> the gullible sponge. <laughs> that is America. Well, they don't have uh, NME over there, do they? So, yeah. Yeah. Well, they, they, yeah, they 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 thought that we. we well, they all, all thought we were from Manchester. Mm. And, uh, a small village outside punk rock rock or, or, or the New York New York office thought we were from LA. So was, yeah, and LA, that was New York. Complicated, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, so we're even in Hello Magazine with Simon Bonnet and it says uh, American band sneaker pips. Mm. I thought, oh my you god, American that's terrible. Band. Imagine being pictured with Simon Bonnet and being called American. <laughs> from, Man <laughs> from Manchester, a small town outside London. Mm. <laughs> so yeah, we were misrepresented because of our. Sorry, there's a lady over there. Which really? Is Are you getting a rear window? Wow. This is a bit rear window. <laughs> <laughs> She's gone back inside. <laughs> two, I promise you, this is. Uh, I feel like I'm lying, but there's no, two. No, I saw it there. too. Then but two, I just, any, that's rude. Like, you can't bring this. Yeah. Look, <laughs> the boys run to the window it's, to see a pair of boots. It's, 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 it's always gone again, hang on. Bit naked. Butt naked. Like a rear window, crippled by her own conscience. Right, now. What's the thing? Oh, she's got a jacket on. Uh, what's the thing? No, we got all so right, we got, we got What were we talking about just we got a second ago? Oh, come um, on. Um, behave. <clears throat> what are you looking at? Looking at your face. Mm. Don't. A great face of shame. No, I am. <laughs> yeah, come on. The hickey reservoir. <laughs> I had a teacher at school called Mr. Hickey. Mr. Hickey? And and he, was the, he was the biggest bully. <laughs> Get that water there. Gallons of it flooding upstairs. Mm. I think Home service is engaged. What kind of a... What kind of shabby establishment? <laughs> is it... Is it... I haven't any idea. Is it Greek? Owned. Stachis. Sorry? I don't know. What's that got to do with it? It's owned by the Hilton. I don't know, because Stachis doesn't sound very... Hilton. Oh, it's the Hilton. Is it? Yeah, it's one of mics. One of the little mics. I think they'll call it something like... I didn't even do it. Nava used to do that. He used to really freak me out because I didn't know why it worked. Oh, or why it had an effect. What? I don't know what they're called. What do you call them? Touching? What, that? Yeah. That's a broken egg. Yeah, a broken egg. Yeah, I think. 
This is cool because it is recording, but the recording meter isn't working, so it's like. So you mean? Did you get I'm doing that? it without without a safety net here. Okay. I'll never, I'll never be entirely confident. No, I, I, the last thing I got was the gullible sponge that is the America. Oh yes. <laughs> Oh, that's okay. A sponge. Yeah, yeah so I think yeah, they, 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 So when you say so there's a sort of feeling that you were manufactured, I mean, there was, I was getting... The, well, that we were perceived. I was getting know. the impression that, not that you were manufactured, but that you thought very carefully about your kind of place in, you I know, think we did sound that will, that will actually, you know, work. We did yeah. more so than back then. Yeah. Um, this time around, I think it's... But probably because it, it sort of used to be fun, fun enough, for that kind of theorising about it. Playing around with it, yeah. Was you felt like you were... Both part of the game, and you somehow kind of directed its player course as well. Manipulated. Yeah. Mm. So, but but there somehow was often, that wears we were often insulted for did. being corporate or whatever. Yeah. Um, we used to we had like graffiti on the back of the bus once written into the dirt on the, on the back of the bus. The corporate cocksuck on tour. <laughs> Sneak <laughs> Which I got blamed for. for some <laughs> <some reason>. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was, it's very strange because when when we get uh, it's quite often journalists or people who who um, or people, yeah, yeah, trying to put them in the same <laughs> sentence. But it's it's you know, it's usually uh, our the points of success over the last three years come down to I don't know it's, it's like oh uh, top ten record. Uh, beer commercial and the saint, mm -hmm. and it's like, yeah. oh, but it's like the beer well, why is the beer commercial important? Was a thirty-second conversation. Uh, will you put the uh, Vin Vendors is making a commercial? Do you want to do the meet and greet? Yeah, fine. Vin and that was that. And that's now yeah. become one of the pinnacles. Yeah, of who would who would refuse Vin Vendors without actually seeing him? <clears throat> so yes, in that sense, we are trying to redress the balance and get back. To I, although I don't think we're conscious doing that, but we are practically doing no, that. No, yeah, I know. We've just done it. We've done what we we're going to do. And we got back off to did an honest record. Something substantial, and, which I think this record yeah, is. Yeah, it is, as you say, it's a bit of a monument to what we're about, really. Mm. Or at least <laughs> a monument to <laughs> me. <laughs> oh, okay. we, 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 this was all coming out in this church last night in an interview. Yeah. It, it all got a bit it's scary. Qu yeah, quasi religious. Yeah. But, um, quasi. Did you say quasi or quasi? Try and avoid the word myself. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll uh, sorry. Quasi. Like quasi if you're at university. Yeah. Really? Quasar if you're on television in America. Ah. Quasi if you're in the. <laughs> if you're in Hartlepool. <laughs> okay. Quasi Modo. I've never called it that. No. I think this is digression. Yes. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's what it is. Technically speaking. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Yes, yeah, so we. I think we, we shut the doors on the studio and thought it really has to be about introspection and getting back to what we wanted to hear. Um, we did get uh, seduced by the by the artifice of, of pop music, which mm. is you know it, it's a it's quite a yeah you know, it's, it's a very spangly um, kind of place to be, and it was also enormous. You know, it was a really good laugh. I think that was <laughs> what people don't understand. It's like it's just. A, Hilarious doing all these things, and it was you know. But but eventually you you kind of wear your wear yourself thin a bit, and you have to go right. Why are we here again? Oh yeah, mm. we made a record once. Mm. Let's do another one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's such a detachment, sort of from the thing you spent time doing, that felt important to the amount of time you spent, yeah. kind of with these really frivolous ways of promoting it, <laughs> and that seems to be the bit that people notice the the promotions. Yeah. Um, and we are still considered the band that did Six Underground and Spin Spin Sugar, which is fair enough because we did. <laughs> <It's> quite true. <laughs> but uh, um, but yeah, because of we have a secret. Because of <laughs> that was a different band. You're in the wrong room. Oh no! no but because of that, five, five, people yeah. think that we that we only do kind of breezy pop or whatever, and it's like the album was kind of a lot about a lot more things than that. So I think I keep just saying the same point over and over again. Mm -hmm. <coughs> so okay, and just making sure I've got it at some and point. And because, because we, we embraced remix culture, um, we, would, we, became, uh, we became very... Uh, well, we were known more, more or less for two remixes. Mm -hmm. Of course, ours, uh, it was our original material, but nevertheless, the Speed Garage classic of Mr... Of an Ogden. Um, <laughs> Where did that come from? <laughs> oh, he's, oh, he's, he's been up thinking. <laughs> <laughs> was, uh, was, of course, something we would never actually uh, imagine doing uh, in, in that 
form. But nevertheless, that, that was kind of possibly, our, our, I think, our biggest anthem. Mm. We still get people kind of screaming those, those words at us. Yeah. And it was kind of like spinning leader thighs. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, it was great. There was, there was some people really off their tits last night. Yeah. It was gig. Jesus, Expecting us to do loads of dance music. Yeah, it was. Yeah. There, there. Give us a fucking break beat. I heard someone say. This guy in front is his birthday. Give us some break beats, please. <laughs> I think they'd all taken loads of pills expecting us to do loads of speed garage and we turned <laughs> up and did our kind of slightly maudlin love songs. Yes, yeah. And they were like, what's this? I'm Absolutely. freaking out. You ruined their night. Mm. Hope you're happy now. Yeah. yeah. At least like, send them I'm crying. Yeah. It's your birthday, well, check this out. <laughs> <laughs> there is a misconception that... that well, just that, think about people who go to Tori Amos gigs, having oh a professional with that. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, because oh, yeah. yeah. they're, they're, they're victim to the same... Not twiddling. Yeah. But of course, you know, we as you know, we we've, we've, we have and still do remixes ourselves, and and the the um, that phenomena is still it's still important. I think it's mm. kind of shifted a bit, slid around since it was really important, but it's still a, it's still an interesting mm. concept. Mm. I believe. But we're always about uh, you know, if you're going to do a remix, you have to somehow uh, address. The, the essence of the tune. That doesn't, that doesn't sound too essentialist, but uh, in, in that if a song's a song in a way, and if, if you're going to not use it, call it something else. Mm. <laughs> 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 Is it just, just the, the sound of his voice? <laughs> yeah. I know the feeling. Oh, well, What's it like in my head? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Yeah, it's, it's imprisoned. So, um, something that uh, oh, um, intrigues me, if I'd um, heard the demos for the first album, would yeah, they sound more some, like this album? Some still yeah, some mineral water yeah. for about uh, yeah, five or six minutes. I mean, we've got, we have, got some we've, tracks, yeah. which um, we found on a dat. Uh, uh, six tracks from the last album, um, and they oh, sound very different um, the last mm, album. I think, it, like I think what frightened us is when we... When we actually um, did the for the same number about five people. Okay, thanks. <laughs> bye bye. When Sorry. we when we did <coughs> the demos for the first record with Chris singing, there was even though we got extremely excited about them, I think they, there was something kind of like a, a like a like a almost nouveau Japan esque uh, feeling about them, which just 1994 it wasn't ready for, mm. and even now it's still. What, it's what, still what, quite weighty. I think yeah. people find it a little difficult. Yeah, because because when yeah, well, when David Sylvan was was in his prime, the people seemed to quite uh, there was enormous stock in in uh, being maudlin. And well, no, I mean, they <laughs> yeah, started yeah, off yeah, yeah. as a disposable punk band. That's yeah, thing. well, that's yeah. a funny thing. I think, yeah. And that's you know. Well, for a good true, ten years, it was oh, why wouldn't he? Why didn't he get back with Japan and just do those old stuff? It was only when he mm. made this album this year that people came out and went, oh, he was always good. <laughs> Ooh, I mean, I, I really liked Brilliant Trees. I liked his first solo stuff. I, I thought, thought that was absolutely marvellous. Mm. Yeah, um, I much preferred. Bloody marvellous. <laughs> <laughs> so I think that's it. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
The whole change thing is very interesting because like kind of the you know the, like the great artists are the ones that change all the time, mm. and everyone admires the fact that they change all the time until <coughs> suddenly they hit a point where they don't like the change, and then mm. you know, so if it's Dylan or Bowie or whatever, you know, oh, it's brilliant. It's just, yeah, we, we try to get yeah. a few sounds and then suddenly it's off. We try to get that change. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's changed too many <laughs> times. Yeah. Go back to that. No, we try to do it as soon, as, as early on as our, in our career yeah. as possible. Yeah. <laughs> Alienate the audience. I mean, it's not, uh, musically, it's still quite similar. You know, it's not a million yeah. miles away from the first album. It's come from the same source. In the same way, the same way the darkness well, is over. Well, I mean, the difference that the, you know, the changing vocalist just changes the whole perception. Of yeah, it does. I mean, your average listener... You know, it is amazing. Gives ninety percent of attention to the vocal mm. anyway. You can never know, overestimate. You know, it's the effect, but it doesn't. It's irritating for anyone who spent mm. a year doing the backing tracks and. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it's also, it's something which everyone does, and it's it's something which, you know, no matter how, um, I don't know, no, no matter how educated you think you are musically, you, you will always sublim- subliminally judge a tune on on the voice. Mm-hmm. And you'll, you'll, you know, the question would, do I like the voice? It'll come up instantly in the first yeah. few syllables. Yeah. Uh, and it's, it's, you know, I'm, I'm sure there's, there's quite a few things, that, you know, quite a few tunes I, it's like Laura Naira, I love the songs, but there's something in her voice which gets, pisses me off a little bit. There's a little mm. bit of Stella Black in her voice. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's like, it's like, <laughs> whereas I love the songs, I think she's an amazing songwriter, but... Just the tiny little bit yeah. never gets me there because there's a little squeak that sounds. It's, it's, like it's that mm-hmm. tiny little. Surprise! Surprise! Yeah, yeah, it's that, it's that, <laughs> it's, yeah Liverpool come <laughs> Canada, which is where she's from. <laughs> so, but, so yeah, you, you can't you can't go well. You should have the ability to transcend the vocal because you can't. It's, yeah. It is the it's like embodiment of the music. Watching that songwriter's circle thing on TV, have you seen yeah, any yeah. Of that? Where they show the, the people who wrote the songs singing the songs. Yeah. This, this is a bit scary because it kind of goes back on things we've, we've said but it doesn't apply in our case. And it's things like... Um, <laughs> <coughs> it's watching yeah. Jimmy Webb singing... Um, which Time I'm Man? Well, he, he didn't do Which Time I'm Man, but Swan. he did... Um, uh, he, he did the, um, Galveston. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> and uh, bloody awful. Well, there's two things going on there, because I've seen him live, mm. and sometimes he's fantastic. Right. Um, but first of all, you know, no, he's not Glenn Campbell. Yeah. And of course, you know, for the most of the last 30 years, Glenn Campbell was ridiculed as well, but yeah. you know, they're, they're fantastic <laughs> singles, you know. Now, you can't do it like Glenn Campbell, but there's two things going on. First of all, he's not as good a singer, but secondly, also, think how many times he's played that song. Yeah. What's really going on is he's doing the kind of, right, I'll just dash through this one, mm. you, know, mm. this is, you know, and, and get on to this, here's my, here's my new direction and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Quite, yeah. Sometimes yeah. people write beyond their abilities, which is quite nice, because um, it's like the bad finger <coughs> without you yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. is really, really brilliant yeah. and sounds really nasty. Yeah. And they can't sing it at all, kind of thing. They can't <laughs> reach their own mouth. <laughs> yeah. 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 But then it's, it becomes this terrible, sanitised anthem of swill. Yeah, parallel. But the actual thing in itself is just, like, yeah. distressing mm. listening. It's just like uh, with, like, Trepesh Mode when, of course, David Gahan, um, <laughs> still yeah. American to say. <laughs> yeah. Gahan? Yeah. yeah. Nice. Would, um... Well, yeah, obviously, he sang the majority of stuff on Speak and Spell and, and Broken Frame, but then Little Furry Top, um, Martin. Martin Gore, started, because of no, course he was, he was the, yeah, he was the <laughs> author, so started to slip his own little perverse voice into I the machine. I liked his voice. Um, I liked and I, I've, I've always never liked really it, but Chris always liked it. And I always thought, oh, David Garn should sing it, because I used to really like David Garn. It's similar with like, with Liam and Noel. Because he's got a pretty voice. Yeah, it's a bit... Yeah. But I got used to it. It was just simply about, about familiarity. It's because I, I, you know, got, because Speak and Spell was so formative, mm. I thought it was... It was you know, as as a fan, remembering back as a, as a teenage fan, it was like you can't change singer. It's like almost like a mm. there was that Did you feeling of same betrayal. Right, about right. Have that come with the right? Yeah, because the writing changes. Well, the stage, at least we've got so. balls, eh? Hey? Yeah. We've got, we've yeah, got yeah, big red ones. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Can be betrayal, I suppose. I think, but you you get over it. I mean. It's 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 people are gonna like the music if they like it or whatever. Yeah. And uh, yes, it's not as if we, you know, if if we were ABBA or something, it would be a, a bit massive issue. But you know, it, it, we've changed just as I'm saying. If we were that big, but it's yeah. it's not as if we're changing the world. 
So that was all an extremely roundabout answer to the question, so you've changed singers. Turns out it was, I didn't realise. <laughs> and apparently you think it's a bad idea and a betrayal. I've <laughs> 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 had to tell you. <laughs> I've only right. right. now we sack him. Give him enough rope. Uh, let down by your own brain, you know. <laughs> 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 it's a betrayal. I was trying to put myself in the shoes of, of an unsuspecting fan, but yeah. that was when I was 12. And you cut the band down completely. But now you've brought these issues out in the open, we can move on. No, it's... it's yeah, no, let's move on. No, I don't want to move on. We can resolve it. Oh, I want to do a bit more! Pretty <laughs> <laughs> soon I was 12. <laughs> Luckily, don't, I don't think 12 year olds buy our music. Oh, they do. I'll tell you, the one thing really that I've noticed has changed is the audience is younger. Of course they do. I'm really mm. No, we're just older. Uh, no, 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 they're the much younger. Is, yeah. There's like young That's kids good. and stuff. What, like policemen are looking younger these days? Yeah. <laughs> younger, younger since. Oh, young mothers. Younger since when? Since. The last time we talked. Well, when, 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 yeah, when we were last talking. What's happened since then? Well, the age groups have got about 10 years different. They are younger. I know. This is the strange thing. I don't know. I think what Kelly always attracted. The 35 plus uh, kind of lowness, and uh, I think with more youth, yeah, with the, with the <laughs> with kids now, more youth, yeah, down yeah. with the kids, absolutely. Damn right. Anyway, what's this wrong? No. So. <sighs> So what are the commercial implications of changing singer then? Well, Instant have you been, have success. You, have, you been, have you been through, I mean, with the record companies, there's more than one, isn't there? What have you got? Virgin mm. America? Virgin America. Virgin America, one that lends in AVX Japan. I mean, were they like, what are you doing? Or are they, America, what are you obviously. doing? America, <laughs> yeah, that's a bit Like, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah. This is ridiculous. Japan are actually more interested than they were before. Which is <laughs> <laughs> um, fine with us. Yeah, you know, fuck America, let's go to Japan. Yeah. We, we're quite happy with, with the uh, transatlantic indifference at the moment. It's but it is, it's quite ironic that a lot of people have been saying, yeah, it's going to be huge in America. Mm -hmm. In the reviews that they've had so far, it's like, yeah, this is going to be even bigger than last time. It's we like, have a oh. little kind of chuckle to ourselves. Well, oh, they're not quite... And, uh, but regardless, I mean, last re record, uh, the Global Sponge took ages to well, the last take record, it up. The last record wasn't like, oh wow, this will go well in America. Kind of, no, I mean, no, it no. did, but there was nothing about it, it took at a long the time, time as well. that said, that's the sound that works in yeah, America. It, exactly. wasn't, it more or less had to knock on everyone's door in America and, and yeah. it over the over the doorstep. Yeah. I think America's going to catch up anyway, I, I, uh, just in terms of, because the industry's all over the place and no one knows what. Well, if you look, if you look on paper, you know, uh, more guitars, less dancey, like yeah. singing it. That's isn't that American? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Is, is that what a press release says now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if nicely simplified. There. Well, excuse me, but if you know, yeah, I isn't know. that American music? Yes, yeah, it's nice, less cheaper. And, yeah, and kind more of. But the, the the reason we became marketable in America was because we had what they like to call a niche. <laughs> <laughs> occupied a, a, a convenient niche, yeah. Yeah. which was the the new thing of electronica. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm calling techno. Well, they. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, we were asking techno. How we were the same as. Uh, Prodigy, Prodigy Chemical the Chemical Brothers. Brothers. Yeah. Yeah, I can't work that one out. Yeah, I know. But, so, in a sense, the fact that we're a bit more guitar based now and ostensibly American sounding mm -hmm. kind of makes us less of a deal in America Good. because they've, they've got, got plenty of that. Yeah. That's, the, that's the thinking. But so, I, you, I, I think mean, you get around to. So we just we just need a, a, I think also the market has changed a lot out there. They've gone well, absolutely the whole chicken shit yeah. about about alter, about music which hasn't got uh, you know isn't absolutely the first thing with, with gimmicks. Yeah. I think I think they're they're just worried and it's happening to loads of people. Um, I think R and B is the biggest thing. Yeah. Yeah. Stick, yeah. stick to what they're good good at. But again, I think there's only one way it can go in music, and that's back to the back to the purpose of doing it. I think. Musicians are always going to be a couple of years ahead of the public mm -hmm. because that's what they do for a Especially ahead of the industry. Yeah, yeah, but it's all this new internet stuff and MP3 and all, all yeah, that. Yeah. It's like well, record companies are shit in their pants. Mm. The money's dried up, entertainment's gone loony. Uh, 
people are going to, it's all going to go back to kind of little garage, little little kind of cottage. I'm going to go back to the garage. Yeah. <laughs> BP. He used to work for BP. BP. <laughs> <laughs> he, you know, he gave up being a manager for BP. And that was, that was after I my own you petrol station up. in Reading. And look at me now. <laughs> I know. <laughs> He'd be earning more fucking money. I know. <laughs> and some respect. Mm. Yeah. No, but people, but, but, but smaller labels, independent labels, and musicians are all starting to pull back the power into into their own. I think we're, we're setting up as a small label. Uh, Splinter Music. Splinter Recording. Splinter Music. music. Splinter yeah. Music is, is the current thing. Yeah. Because it's like not that. just about recording. Because then it could be anything, yeah. Splinter Music. What? 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 In the industry, I think a lot of people are doing it not in some Citizen Smith kind of part of the paper way, but uh, just just to you know, as all the all the kind of events for for if you like um, experimental. I don't really mean that in in a CAC term, but uh, uh, music that isn't recognised yeah. by non-commercially led music. Mm-hmm. Uh, all, the, all the all the pores have been blocked, and and the, there's people are going to start start doing it themselves again. People are setting up little. Um, labels through the internet and and mm-hmm. distribution is all changing mm-hmm. and it, again I think it's getting back to the, a more kind of seventies garage. What's all that stuff? The old boss on that. Sorry, I wasn't really. Anyway. Seventies garage. Garage music. 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 Garage I'm talking about a particular period of music, and I forgot. Punk. You're talking the, about punk, aren't you? Probably talking about it all. Oh yes. Talking about that though. punk attitude. Yeah. Let's let's do it ourselves. All that stuff. Yeah. Yes. That'll do. It yeah. seems to be the only way to get things done these days. Mm. It's only quicker. Mm. Definitely. Hmm. So, how are your diaries in the next? Are you facing another three years of promoting this house? <laughs> well, what's your plan? You know, are you, are you, you know, are people telling you that you're going to spend the whole of next year touring America and kind of that um, sort of thing? No, not this time, mate. No, no. not in the same way as we did. We're, we're sort of looking forward to doing a bit of touring. Yeah, because we're better now <coughs> than we ever were. I think. Plus, we were locked in. A, we locked ourselves in a studio for eighteen months, and we really want to see the world again. But um, we're not going to allow. Yeah, you know, <laughs> but we're not going to kind of fall into the trap of, of slavishly, endlessly, and repetitively doing the kind of the, the American the circuit. circuit yeah. um, it's a terrible America. Well, as soon as you do one bit, you, when you get to the other side, they've forgotten about you. And you have to yeah. go back. Yeah, like painting that bridge, whichever one it is. Oh yeah, it's it's, it's the big bridge. Yeah, it's, it's quite okay. a stop now. Really? Mm. Why? Too expensive. Really? painting it. It's yeah. going to crumble. I, I don't know what they're doing, it. they're not doing it all Why over. don't they spray it in because rubber or something, spray it with a plastic coating? Just leave it in that nice natural look. Uh, yeah. Or feathers. <laughs> coat it in felt. Tar and feather, the whole of the I reckon, I reckon coat it in animal fat, blood and felt, call it a Jossie Boys. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Um, so no, I don't think we're going to be trees, like. doing that. But we, we want to try and make sure we want to try and get into the position where you can just do shows that are quite interesting without it just being a slavish reproduction of yeah. what we did the night before, mm-hmm. which is a difficult thing to do, um, sort of mentally, because it kind of always is going to be a, a, just a, a repetition. But, mm-hmm. um, it, it wasn't very creative and it wasn't mm. very practical, and in the end, it wasn't very exciting think, yeah. for people to watch. Last so. time you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean. So we're trying to kind of reinvent all that. Yeah. Well, we're actually enjoying ourselves, I think, this time. And then we're, 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 we're working out different ways of, of actually approaching yeah, it. With, know, because of the, uh, through through the Splinter Music um, project we're doing, and and through the club night at the ICA, which which again is is more of of, of us being involved in, in a musical. Uh, a musical. <laughs> a musical. <laughs> a musical. Yeah. Uh, well, yes, we're directing. Yeah. Creating, creating a. Shoshi's based on a love time more. <laughs> yeah, well, creating, well, creating a, some form of a musical. Uh, no, s- 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 scene is the wrong word. Um, 
like a happening, a musical happening. Okay, that's cool. And it's it's about so, yeah, it's yeah. about developing, um, you know, getting lots of like-minded people and uh, together and and yeah, having a little kind of kibbutz in the ICA. Oh, but happy, really, isn't it? <laughs> well, it's yeah, because we I don't know how much you know about the, the, about, about the night. Is too much. Really, <laughs> <laughs> and they're good people. Tell me about the ICA night. That's a question that's coming up. Yes, what are you mm. doing? Home taping. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Basically, it's about getting people to sort of there was this sort of intimacy about making tapes for people, whether for yourself or compilation tapes for yourself or other people, and the whole idea of that being quite a sort of personal method of communication, really, that says infinite amounts about yourself and whoever this tape is for, mm-hmm. and really to try and get. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to what? get uh, so emotional. This, 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 this is an happening. annual yeah. happening. Enjoy. Um, I'm basically trying to get celebrities and non-celebrities and just people generally who mm. fall in both those camps um, to do this. So there won't be DJs as such. It'll be this. Um, Load of tapes. You expect to be able to pay for this? <laughs> <laughs> a load of tapes in the fucking ICA. Yeah. Yeah. Pay for anything. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, so basically, yes, it's, it's a non, it's a DJ-free zone. But we we play, we project the image of, of the celebrity or, or the non-celebrity and mm-hmm. uh, play their tape really and in, the, in the bar of the bit. Live tape. And yeah, and we have lots of visual trickery. But it's, and then we're also playing a gig there as well, which. On mm-hmm. the first night, yeah. it's the first night on the twelfth, yeah. yeah. But it's going to be a monthly thing, and it's yeah, there's lots of just little art pieces and 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 little and twiglets. Well, yeah, we were going to call it <laughs> empty dance floors, <laughs> <laughs> but we thought it was picture itself. Yeah. <laughs> it was about trying to sort of trying to get something started that was almost uh, only about the people who went to see it who, who were, or involved in it, rather mm-hmm. than the kind of DJ spectacle or all the. Yeah. I think yeah. I think it's 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 push, yeah pushing it back onto the pe- on, onto like a party. It's as almost got like a real for... egalitarian kind of angle to it without being too cheesy. Mm, yeah. it's, it's supposed to be kind of a, a leveling idea. Totally. Where you'd normally democracy. have a DJ who would kind of uh, decide what to play to people, which is fair enough. And they're, they're welcome to. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but I wouldn't have it in my house. No. <laughs> It's it's it sort of reflects even on the kind of things we were talking about before about things like MP3 and about the whole musical structure or the the structure for selling music and for presenting music to people seems to be crumbling, um, and the idea of um, people sort of from coming upwards from grassroots, say, for want <laughs> of a better word, and bringing their music in um, is is probably quite an interesting way of reflecting that. That change that's happening. It's going to be like a teenage party. <laughs> yeah, kind of music used to used to once seem quite important when you'd sit there as a as a fifteen year old and you'd, and you'd take the charts and then you'd make your little compilations and you'd, and you'd show off to your mates about girl you'd because kind of you really wanted yeah. to. And, and yeah, there's something enormously genuine about about a tape. Uh, but when you you know a tape, you can tell when a tape's been put together by, by someone who probably can sing all all the lyrics on it. And mm. whereas whereas this you know the slightly hollow. Um, Why did you? You know the the, the hollow oh, and and. Hello, mate. That's it now. I think I've got. I have to have a video camera to this one. I'm missing all these little details. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lovely little moment over there. Yeah. Just coming out. Hmm. Yeah. It's something very. I think there's. I think there's something very affirmative about. Uh, <coughs> even even types. <coughs> Yeah, you know, occasionally you. Uh, oh, there's more. I've never seen that. The napkin's coming out of the teapot. Three, three foot nano cup. Just leave it over there. there for a second, and we'll sort yeah. it out. Yeah. 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 Can we? Oh, we'll put it on this. This dress. Just leave it. Yeah, I mean, it's, yeah. It's, it, there is a certain element of not nostalgia, but certainly trying to recapture that enthusiasm, mm. in th- pure ridiculous kind of enthusiasm for music. Yeah, when you find a tape, which you, 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 you made about 15. This is an anti DJ mixtape kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. It's like in the end, it's a, it's a, it's a choice. It's a, it's, a, it's a reflection of. of I mean, your, it could mean there's whether it was work is another thing. It was also something about it, all the clubs playing the same thing anyway at the moment, and, and there's, there always tend to be kind of being sort of um, 
laughably kind of esoteric, and it's always the same thing anyway. Because um, if people do take those, they can start out good. Yeah, oh yeah, I mean, I'm sure there's going to be terrible moments of sheer horror. <laughs> <laughs> that's all part of the thing. But that's part of the thing, and you'll realise. Well, you turn the tape off and put another one. And you suddenly realise who the hell's compiled it, and you go, Jesus Christ. Um, I've got a friend, every time I go around, she goes, uh, what have you got on here? And she goes, oh, it's this DJ did this, uh, did this CD for me, and it's this little mix CD. And she always goes, it gets a lot better later on. <laughs> About <laughs> half an hour into it gets good, but unfortunately it's all one track, so we can't go. <laughs> this gets good in half an hour, rubbish. That's the problem with DJ. Well, exactly. <laughs> do, you want, do you want tea or what? Um, well, I'd like both, but I'll start with tea. Tea would be more important, I need caffeine. Right, okay. Well, does anyone else want tea? Oh, I don't know, I'd love a cup of tea. Pog. I've got a three year old daughter, and that's her term of abuse. Really? Pog? Pogging, yeah. Pogging? Pogging. That's Pogging hell? Yeah. Kind of thing. Oh, I can see it's going to take off. Well, <laughs> it's going to be new expletive. Yeah. New band Pog expletive. Off. Where's my tea? I didn't hear you answer. About 3,000 times. Sorry. Yeah, but did you put your hand in the air when he said, well, that's what hands done, up, yeah. who wants tea? We've got three pots of tea to get through. <sighs> wow. She will manage be pissing all the way to Wolves. Do you know how much it is in this hotel for two bottles of um, still water? Ten pounds. Nine pounds seventy. Eee. It's not okay. nine pounds seventy. It's nine pounds seventy. Yeah, it's the price of everything. Two value bottles of water. It's all your money, you know, so coming back. <coughs> It's, it's on you, isn't it? Promotions. <laughs> yeah, it's all, it's all coming out of your royalties. It's not a Cooper ball. It's still a Cooper ball. It pays for the promotional budget. Come on. In the end. In the end. In the end. That's the only thing we recoup. But it gives us a little bit of pleasure, I suppose, along the way. Yeah, nine pounds of pleasure. Two bottles of water worth of pleasure. It's not even busy. It's not even busy. So who, who is doing the? Um, who have we got lined up doing tapes for this night then? We want oh, to play it a little closer. Well, fact, you, so we don't give away too many. We've got huge numbers. Right, we've got top politicians. A top politician. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, near the top. Politicians. We're, the ones we've got in so far, but it's, it's still a, we're still. Are we allowed to in. say? Should we say? Well, we Are say, we? I don't know. We can say who we're who we're who we're courting really? at the moment. Hattersley. So we're caught him. He's yeah. the big money. He's the big, he's the one. He's the, yeah. <coughs> if he don't get him in, no one will. No, exactly. Um, um, who else? We've got Adam and Joe from the Adam and Joe <laughs> show. <laughs> from Adam and Joe. <laughs> yeah. Louis um, Thoreau. Louis Thoreau. 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 Your mate Adam. Jennifer Aniston. No. That was friends. <laughs> Yeah. Um, I don't know how any of these things came about. Yeah, yes, Brad, you Brad do. How did they come about? We know everybody. Everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Six <laughs> degrees of separation, that's all it is. Yeah. yeah. But with tapes. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, get him on the phone now. Come on, get Jennifer Aston. No, he just said with Boy, tapes. <laughs> no. Get over here. Yeah, and uh, Wesley Snipes. Oh, we could have got. We I better forgot about Snipes. Yeah, no, we're, we're on, on his case. Really he loved. He, it's just, you know, fans of the band. We got that in. God, yeah. how did we do? Yeah. He invited us onto his set. We couldn't make it. Elizabeth Shoe. Elizabeth Shoe, we met. Mm -hmm. Kilmer. Hey, you like him? Get his beefy face. Another one in the sky. Little feet. Yeah, it was uh, loads of people. Just, just lots, just odd. You know them all, don't you? Um. We'll do soon. We were sat in a jacuzzi. <laughs> yeah. Loads of coke. With all our <laughs> <laughs> star friends. Top star friends. Yeah. Tub stuff. Yeah, our tubby friends. Tub stuff. Is that tub, tub, but lots tub of tubby friends. friends, yeah. Uh, no, we just thought, we thought, if we're going to do a thing about tape, let's try and get some celebrities in. And if, we, if we've managed to claw ourselves into this very tenuous position of being on the fringes of some kind of celebrity, um, uh, no, we no. just thought we thought if we're going to do a thing about tape, let's try and get some celebrities in. And if, we, if we've managed to claw ourselves into this very tenuous position of being on the fringes of some kind of celebrity, um, the advertising for the other club nights <laughs> on the first one. Yeah, I love you. <laughs> 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 
an insight into Dave's child policy. <laughs> <laughs> if you would knock into something, then you bump into it. Fuck's like a moth, isn't it? Oh, that one. 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 O